So, uh, we have a lot of ASL store students here, and we have some deaf people here. So, what happens if they meet? Can you change the first half? Well, why don't we go ahead and have a workshop? Why don't we offer CEUs? Oh, that's a great idea. So, well, well, we won't be able to get CEUs. Let's just go ahead. So, we will right now be advising you and giving you tips for communication with a deaf person. <laughs> Okay, we need a volunteer. We need a volunteer. Hmm. Okay, so Mr. Volunteer, you will be deaf. Okay, good job. And we will be the teacher. Oh. Now you're really hearing, right? Okay. Because I, I know right now uh, we're going to give you permission to be deaf. Because later people are going to say, oh, he's being fake, he's a fake deaf person. So you have to use excuse for that. Okay, this is, this is short, just a few minutes. Okay. You'll just be deaf for a few minutes. All right, so if you need a deaf person like him, don't worry. You are not going to. Go on your pants. So, the tip, tip number one. Okay, now to start, I want to make sure you understand clearly. I want to emphasize the right way and the wrong way. So remember, okay. Right, so it's very, very important when you meet a deaf person, you need to have eye contact. This is the right way. No, this is the wrong way. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. 
Okay, number four. Number four. If you feel awkward or nervous in gestures and you don't have good ASL skills, you don't want to run away, you can always write. But what I want to emphasize is keep it short and simple. All right? The right way. Okay, this is the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs>